Yo, what's up? Welcome back to another video. My name is Lufon Tui, and I know it's been a long time since I had dropped a video. So the reason why I've not posted for the past two weeks is because I've been preparing myself, creating a curriculum, trying to see how best to um, create the course that I'm about to tell you about now. From the 26th of this month, I'm going to hosting a four-day class on corsets. It's taken me two weeks to create each of the the the, the four classes that will hold are more than two hours long. So you can be just best believe that I've packed in as much knowledge as possible into each into every um, class. The course is going to cost um, 2,500 naira. But for the first 20 people, the first 20 people would pay 2,000 naira. If you're interested, send me a message on Telegram on this. Um, number that you can see on the screen so do have a lovely day remember we're starting on the 26th is a four day course the first 20 people would pay only 2000 naira so start registering now i'll see you in the next video but first enjoy this video Welcome to this video. Um, in this video, we're going to be making the kaftan with a v-neck, all right? And then this lace is the lace that we're going to carve out and use to decorate the um, the neck, okay? And the lace is the part of the fabric that will also cover the v-neck that we are making, all right? So this is the fabric that I'm going to use. I'm going to use pattern paper to draft out the measurement before I transfer it onto my fabric. So let me get on my pattern paper. Alright, so here I have my paper and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to place half an inch at the top of the paper that will serve as my allowance for my joining at the shoulder. The next thing I'm going to place is we're going to need to find where our bust is, okay? So to do that, you're going to need your under bust length measurement. Your under bust length measurement is the measurement from your shoulder to immediately under your bust. So you're going to need to find your under bust length measurement. When we have that measurement, we are going to subtract 4 inches from that measurement and that's where we'll place our bust point. So in this instance, the under bust length is 14 inches. Okay, the under bust length is 14 inches. So if we count 4 inches up, 14 minus 4 inches would give us 10. So that is where our bust point is going to be. Now this is a very free um, dress, so it's really really loose everywhere. Uh, but, but before we before we get there, let's place our shoulder. Our shoulder is 16 inches. 16 inches divided by 2 is 8. So we're going to place 8 here. Okay, as I was saying, this dress is a very loose, very, very loose dress. On the bust area here, the measurement that we're going to place is our hip measurement. It's supposed to come from up here and go all the way down, loose, free, everything is supposed to be to uh, give you a lot of ease. So at this bust point here, we're going to place your hip measurements divided by 4 here, and then we're going to take that all the way down. So the hip measurement we're working with is 41 inches, that is 10.25. So we're going to place 10.25 here, okay, 10.25 here, and we're going to take it down. Okay, so after we have done that, the amount of ease we are going to keep, so the allowance that we're going to keep on this, um, on this dress is 3 inches. So we're going to keep 3 inches so that we have a lot of excess. If you're part of that 3 inches, half inch. Uh, out of that three inches is going to be used as our um, sewing allowance at the side so really we are keeping 2.5 inches so I'm going to go ahead and keep the inches of allowance all the way down so now that we have gotten this the next thing we are going to place is our sleeve length now the sleeve you saw two measurements um, I wrote um, uh, 11 inches slash 18 so the length of the sleeve from the shoulder to the end of the sleeve including the part that's made of lace is 18 inches okay but from the shoulder to where the ankara stops all right is 11 
inches so that's why we have 11 slash 18 so our lace is going to complete 7 inches of the sleeve that we need so for that 11 how you're going to apply it is you're going to come to the edge let me see if I can brighten this a bit all right so we're going to come to the edge here and you're going to add 11 inches to it all right and then after you've done that you're going to simply roll the line from here down all right so now i know you're going to be tempted to simply connect here to here but that's not how this one works when they when the dress leaves the body it starts to taper in into the sleeve a bit so you're going to need to take when you're taking your sleeve length you will take from your shoulder to this point okay to the point where you want it to stop you can put you know tie a string there or something before you continue going down so when you take that 11 you take the circumference around that point the measurements that i called arm round that's the measurements that's the circumference around the points here where this uh, lace meets the fabric the Ankara so we're going to come from here and we're going to place that 11 divided by 2 11 divided by 2 is 5.5 so here I'm going to place 6 inches I'm placing 6 inches here because I have added an extra uh, half inch for sewing allowance remember I told you we've kept as much as 3 but since it's free we're holding only half an inch so here my arm round divided by 2 plus half an inch and that's what I've placed there so what we're going to do now is we're going to connect from here to here you see that so the shape of the dress is coming from here and then it tapers out so that it is the, the sleeve is fitted the sleeve is not supposed to be very loose the next thing and the last thing really that we will look at is our neckline so for the neckline for a standard you can place the neckline width of 4.5 all right so neckline width of 4.5 we're taking a very wide neckline width but the um the fabric would add to create the v-neck is going to help us to reduce some of that and then for the depth we're going to come down to we're going to come down to nine inches all right so for the depth we're going to come down to nine inches and then the next thing we're going to do is you are going to come down here and you are going to place two inches here all right so this two inches here is the width of the v neck so remember it's going to come from here and it's going to there's there's something we're going to need to do here so just follow the steps that i'm giving to you the neckline width 4.5 neckline depth nine inches down here at the nine inches you are going to place two points um you're going to place two inches like i have done when that has been done, you are going to draw a line, a curve, from here to the top. So, you can see it's not really a straight line. I'm using the curve part of my, of my pen, of my ruler. So, 2 inches curves up to the 4.5. Then, the, on, at the end here, add half an inch for sewing allowance. Alright, so, now the next thing we are going to do is... We are going to place our dress length. Alright, so from here, my paper is not long enough to give me the dress length that I want. I want a dress length of uh, 60 inches, so my paper is not long enough to do that. So I'm going to measure out. So my paper stops at 39 inches. My paper stops at 39 inches. So if we do, um, if we do 60 minus 39, we'll see how much we need to complete this. So 60 minus... 39 and we need an extra 21 inches to complete it so when i'm cutting it on my fabric i'm going to extend the length at the bottom by an extra 21 inches excluding my allowance from adding my allowance that 21 i'll end up cutting this at around 23 inches so let's call it 23 the extra two inches added to that 21 is the um my hemming allowance at the bottom so remember from here going straight down let me cut this out and then we'll come so that we cut the fabric this pattern will be used to cut the back as well the only difference between the front and the back is that at the neckline i'm going to slope out to one inch i'm not going to i'm not going to come down as much as i did in the front so the neckline width will be the same but the neckline depth will not be as low as this it is covered to one inch at the back
So Ankara is usually by 45, so that's why I got a lot of fabric. Because our Ankara is by 45, we need a length of 62, of um, 63. So obviously, the, um, sorry, the width, you can see the width of that comes in Ankara is quite short. So that's not going to do. So instead of folding it like we would ordinarily fold, if we're cutting smaller pieces like so, we're going to fold it like this. All right. And then we're going to use this side. All right, let me check and see that it enters my Ankara. I might need to extend the length. Oh, okay. It just about enters the width of the of what we're working on. So I'm going to fold my fabric like this. I'm going to arrange it on the table and then I would cut. All right. So that I don't deal with too much excess, I'll just measure out 62 inch, uh, 64 inches and cut it short so that I can arrange everything uh, more precisely on the table. All right. So let me cut out 64. All right, so yeah, I folded everything. Let me turn the camera for you a bit so you can see what's happening around here all right so that has been kept so everything has been kept on a fold the next step is to cut it out so the um length at the bottom is out of sight so what i'm going to do i'm going to um, so simply just cut it out all right simply just cut everything out So with that we are done cutting the front. I'm going to repeat the same step on the back. I, um, every other part of the body is the same. The only part where the front is different from the back is at the neck. So I'll cut all the other parts and then we'll, I would come here to show you how I end up cutting my neckline. Um, the neckline for the back, alright? Alright, so now I'm done with the... I've cut every um, other part as you can see besides the neckline. Alright, so the next thing I'm going to do, like I said, I'm going to come to the top. And in front here, we're only coming down by one inch. So you see, I'm placing one inch right on the edge, and then make a curve from the one inch straight up. So that's that for here. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to cut the lace that's meant for the front. And after that, we'll go to the machine, do one or two, and then we'll come back. But for now, let's handle the lace. Alright, so here we have the front. The next step is to decorate it. So you're going to simply take your net, or your lace, sorry, and you're going to place it on top. So you can already see how this is going to go. Alright, arrange it as much as you want. You can push it to the side, you can push it away from the side. And now, it's best when you are trying to do this to get a lace that has some sort of pattern that you can follow. So I have arranged it with, um, with this piece here. So you can see this star that I have here. This is right below where I have my neckline, the center of my neckline. So this petal here is going to be at the center of it all at the end of the day. So make sure you arrange it in such a manner when you are starting with this. Now, for according to the design I'm following for the client, there's not going to be any petals on this side at all. All right, so there's not going to be any petals on this side. And then I'm going to cut all of this off. So the petals are going to start from here. I'm going to capture this petal, capture this, come out, capture this one, and then I'm going to slowly come up like so. So it's just for you to get a lace that is pattern. First of all, look for how you want to place the pattern, and then you 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 start basically. So, like I said, I would. I'm going to start over here.
So with that, I have figured out how I want my lace to sit on the fabric. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm now going to carve it out to you know sit nicer than it is already. All right. So before we move to the sewing machine, I'm going to just use my needle to hold um, to hold it in place. And now when I'm done with all of this, when I'm done with the dress, but I don't think I'll film that. Um, I'm going to be dazzle it. So I'm going to look for stones and I'm going to stone all of the lace so that it gives it more um, you know it announces it a lot more all right so now next thing we're going to do is we're going to stitch first of all I'm going to stitch around the neckline to hold it around here first of all before we move to any other spot so just stitch as close to the fabric, the edge of the fabric as possible. By the time we add that neckline, that um, v-neck, that's the v-neck that's supposed to be here, that's going to help us eliminate, um, help us hold this down some more, but just hold it in place first. So I'm using black thread, black thread underneath. I'm going to now stitch around the edge just to hold everything down. While I'm stitching, I'm going to take out my pins and I'm going to flatten wherever I'm stitching so that there's no excess lace inside, all right? So now I'll head over to my ironing table. I'm going to iron this, so but be careful. If so I have ironed here flat. All right, so I've ironed everything. Everything has relaxed. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to join the front to the back at the sleeve and the shoulder first. Okay, so I'm going to join the both of them from here straight down. I'm consuming half an inch because half an inch is what we kept. Alright, so now we have stitched both sides of the shoulders. This would be the best time to use your overlocker to lock here and here. So use your weaving machine to finish the places that we just stitched now. Alright, so what we what I have done here, I have opened up everything. So this is the back of the dress, this is the front of the dress. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a notch inside here. So you see right at the angle, making a notch there. And I'm making a notch here, all right? After you have made these notches, the next thing I want you to do, I want you to carefully measure using your tape from here, okay? From this side here, we're going to measure across the neck all the way around to this other notch that we have, all right? So let me measure out. So for me, I have 30. So if you have measured around and you have that number, next up, write down the number. Uh, write down the number. We're going to use that to cut the that um, the part of the fabric that will create the V-neck for us. So when that has been done, the next thing I want you to do, I want you to heat up your iron and come back so that I show you what we're going to do here. All right. So when your iron is hot, I'm going to flip over to the wrong side of whatever you are sewing. Flip over to the wrong side. And you are going to iron in that half inch. So you see this notch you made. The reason why you made this notch is so that you can fold in and iron it smoothly. So that's what exactly what you are going to do. You are going to fold in the front and you are going to iron it smoothly. All right, so on to the next step, let's cut the um, the neck. So what you're going to do now is this. Now, if you remember, when we measured around the neck, we got 30 inches. That 30 inches, you're going to um, 
divide it in half all right because we're drafting half of the neckline now so you're going to divide that 30 in half 30 divided by 2 is 15 inches you're going to make a mark at 15 inches here so mine is 30 um yeah if you did the same thing it'd probably be 32 don't know why you would do anything differently but if you are like a, like um if you are a small if you wear a size, um it's small as your size so uh let's say bust of 32 that four inches width that four um that's the 4.5 inches width that i did for you maybe i would probably have done three inches for the width um 3.5 sorry for the width so now that i have measured my 15 that's around 30 30 divided by 215 and i place this here next thing i'm going to do i'm going to come to the edge and i'm going to place three that's the height of it and i'm going to come here and I'm going to make a mark at 3 inches. So, connect all the lines together. Alright, and then, the next thing you're going to do, you're going to come to the end here, at this point, and you're going to increase the point that you have here by half an inch. So you see that, I've just increased the, the, the top part of it by half an inch. And then, you're going to slope out like so. Alright, so, now, I'm going to cut it out. So this is the pattern I'm going to use to cut my the piece that will sit around the neck. So I'll cut the fabric first and then we'll cut the lace together. So for the fabric, you can pick one of the many pieces you would have after cutting the long piece. That's the long one that we had. And I bet this is well over 30. The first thing we're going to do, we are going to fold this in half and iron it. All right. And then we are going to fold it. Alright, and then we are going to place this part here on top. So you see, I'm placing this edge, the edge where we came up by half an inch, the edge that has the extra half an inch, I'm placing it on a folded edge. Remember, we folded like this first, so there's a folded edge over here. This should be 30 inches long, all right? You're going to use this pattern to cut your lace. So let me get the lace. Because remember, lace is supposed to sit around on top of this. So it's basically the same thing with the lace. All right, so here we have our two pieces. So this is the um net the sorry lace and it's going to sit right on top of here like so so when you've done this the next thing i want you to do i want you to fold this part here in half so you see this i want you to fold the ankara into half along with the lace like this and you are going to stitch all of them together all right Alright, so now you can go ahead and use an overlocker to finish the rough edge that you have here if you want it to be neat. But for me, because that is not readily available, I'm going to use my bias to finish this edge first, okay? Alright, so after you've stitched around the bottom or you've used your overlocker to finish it neatly, the next thing we're going to do is you're going to take the front and you're going to cross them just a little bit by half an inch. So you see this, this is going to sit on top of this one here by half an inch, okay? So after you've done that, I want you to simply just lock this half an inch in place. And then you can use an overlocker to finish this edge that you have here. Or in my case, I'm still going to use my bias to run from top to bottom. All right. So with that, we have neatly created the part that would go around the neck as a V-neck. The next step is to bring our bodies, our dress, and place on top of this so that we can stitch around. So you can see we have half inch on both sides. I'm going to start from here, and I'm going to stitch across to this side before 
I go up, all right? So I'm starting from here and I'm going to stitch around and it will lead me back here. You're basically stitching on top, stitch as close to the edge as you can. Now I'm going to stitch up the side and around the neck. All right, stitching up the side and I'm going to go around. So now you can see I have stitched the front, so now I'm going to stitch up the side and then I will go around and it should lead me back here. All right. done all of that then you should end up with a neckline that looks something like this all right I hope that you can see it clearly oh yeah so you can see this is the neckline that we have all right so the next step would be to focus on our sleeve so remember that we it was lace that was supposed to complete the bottom so the first thing we're going to do is Let's measure across now to see how many we really have. So from here to here, it's saying 12 inches. So remember, as for the least part of the sleeve, we needed an extra uh, 7 inches to complete the length. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to go and cut 12 inches, that's from here to here, by 7 inches. 7 inches is what is going to complete the lace at the bottom. Alright, so now the next thing I'm going to look at it here first of all. Okay, I've cut the pattern. So this is... 12 and this here is 7.5 I added half inch to the 7 so that I have sewing allowance at the top here after you've cut this the next step is to join it to the end of the sleeve which is what I'm doing now all right so now the next step is to create the side pocket so this dress has two sides side uh, pockets but I'm not going to film that part because I've made a, a, a separate video on how to create side pockets and that's the method I'm going to use here the link to the video is that's the first link in the description would be how to create those side pockets so let me create the pockets and then I'll come back for us to basically round up all right all right so now I have made both of my pockets Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to stitch down. So you see this? I'm going to stitch down from here all the way across. All right. So from here, I'm just going to start from the sleeve. I'll stitch through the body, and then I'm going to end up at the hem. So do the same thing after you've made your pockets. So I'm done with the other side, I'm going to simply repeat the same step on this side. Once we're done with that, we're pretty much done, the last thing is to hem the dress. Alright, so the last step now is for me to hem the bottom of the dress. So that's what I'm going to do now. I folded it using half inch and 1.5. So I'm now going to stitch around, but once I do that I'm done. Uh, after that, I will see you in the next video. If you've watched this far, thank you. Um, yeah, don't forget. The corsets course, alright? I'll see you later. Bye.